In today's tutorial, we'll see a brief overview of the storyboard panel. I've based my presentation on a demo project called Jazz, broadcast by Telegrama that you get when you download our demo on clint.net. The first thing you see when you open a Clint project is the storyboard, which is the interactive scenario of your project. This project is divided into three main sequences. Each of them focuses on a different music style. And the home sequence here is attached to all the other sequences. The main sequence that is linked to the others is my home sequence because it has the small home icon on the bottom right. So my web documentary will always start with this sequence. I can create as many sequences as I want by right clicking on an empty area of the storyboard and choosing add new sequence. Or I can directly drag and drop media from my media library into the storyboard area, which will create a new sequence for me. Clicking on a sequence on the storyboard brings up the Properties panel, where I can change the title, duration of the sequence, add tags or descriptions, and I can also change the background color of the sequence and its opacity. If I want to geolocate my sequences for the map menu, I can add latitude and longitude points. And I also get the idea of my sequence, just in case I might use that. You can move around on the storyboard by pressing the space bar and then click and dragging with your mouse. And you can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. Right-clicking on a sequence gives you even more options to edit the sequence, start, set a startup sequence, and when I set a sequence as a startup sequence, my web documentary will always start with this sequence. I can duplicate, delete, change its size and its color. Changing the color and size of sequences gives me a nice way to organize my storyboard. To organize my storyboard even better, I can drag and drop images from the media library towards this sequence, which will create a thumbnail image. These images will then be used for the menus. And to create the interactivity in your project, you can create as many links as you want between the different sequences. Creating a link is easy. You just have to click on the small circle beneath the sequence and drag it towards the sequence you want to link it to. I can create as many links as I want, depending on my project and the interactivity that I want to have in this project, and I can delete the link or change the color. I will talk more about links in a separate tutorial, but for the time being, I guess we've covered everything that has to do with the storyboard.